made it back from Bass Fishing Electronics up in Auburn, New Hampshire, and the boat is officially rigged from the bow all the way to the back. It is by far the best build I have ever seen in a bass boat that I have owned. I'm impressed with the job that they did from, you know, the workmanship, uh, the quality of everything that they did was out of this world. And that's why it's important to go to someone who professionally can install a lot of your electronics, your power poles, some of the accessories and a lot of the parts that go into your boat, especially nowadays, there's so many advancements in technology that it's sometimes a little out of our league to just go and just throw it in as fast as we can. It's really important to make sure you get someone who specializes in that type of work. I'm running five total batteries in my boat, two cranking batteries. One is for the electronics and one is for, you know, the boat for the motor, all the accessories and whatnot. And the most important thing is using a C-Clear harness. That you guys check out C-Clear power if you're looking to get the most out of your units. Plus the transducers, the live, the Mega 360, a lot of power is being used. It's great that you have the greatest batteries in the world, but it's also important about what makes that power go from the batteries to those graphs. So one of the reasons I wanted to take my boat to Bass Fishing Electronics to get fully rigged is because of the quality, the workmanship, and also the cleanliness and organization as you can see in this back compartment. I have never had a back compartment in a boat that's ever been this organized and clean from the trays that the batteries are in. Those are all custom made from Bass Fish Electronics. As you can see, they are heavy duty. They're a lot better than those plastic ones that come with the boat. And then all the batteries are rigged very nice and organized. I have my three trolling motor batteries on this side. As you can see, there's no extra wires hanging around. It's very clean. On the other side, I have my two cranking batteries, one specifically for cranking the motor and all the accessories on the boat. And then the second one is specifically for the electronics, as you can see on the C-Clear harness going directly into them. And then I have a lot of room in the rest of the compartment for a lot of things. As you can see, I have a black box there that's got some extra parts. Uh, I keep a spare trolling motor prop in there. I also have the spare prop for the Mercury four stroke. And then I have a lot more room also to figure out what else I could put in there. I got my light right here. And that's just what I'm most impressed about is the overall quality and cleanliness and organization that that back compartment has to offer. And that's what you get when you go to get your boat professionally rigged at Bass Fishing Electronics. All right guys, so here is the front of my boat this year. Like I said, again, all thanks to Bass Fish Electronics, I'm gonna be running a Lowrance, a Garmin, and a Humminbird. All these have their own use. I will get into that further in another video, but all these are available for purchase on the website below. I will drop the link. And some of the key features that Bass Fish Electronics has are some of their accessories. They have a cover for your forward-facing sonar. This is the Garmin. They also make one for the Lowrance Act Target. You have the Ghost Mega 360 support bracket. This is by far the best bracket on the market. If you have a Lowrance Ghost trolling motor and you are running a Mega 360, this is the best clamp that you can possibly get. It has three pieces and it's gonna support this Mega 360 better than anything out there. And most importantly, it's easy to disconnect and remove if you ever have to in a bind. That's very important. Secondly, we have the Bass Fish Electronic Sock Sleeve to keep all your wires nice and organized. I really like that idea, especially when you are lifting your trolling motor out of the water. Sometimes your sleeve hits your graphs. It's really important to keep those wires covered up, your graphs protected at all times. And last but not least, the Bass Fish Electronics bounce pad on the trolling motor, as you can see right there. Never have to worry about the trolling motor bouncing or going through the deck of the boat. Those days are long gone. And that's about it. So a lot goes into this boat. It took a lot of time, but I am very excited about it. It's by far the best boat build in everything that I have ever had. I'm excited about it and I can't wait for the 2023 season. All right, so I, like I said, I will drop the link below for Bass Fish Electronics. I will also include the phone number. If you guys are looking to upgrade your electronics, your trolling motor, your accessories, your power poles, anything like that, any of the switches, anything that goes into your boat, be sure to check out Bass Fish Electronics. Also, if you need a boat rigged, now is an important time to get your appointment booked. They're gonna be filling up very fast. So if you're looking for the spring, where you need to get your boat rigged in March and April, now is the time to start making the call, get your name on the list, and be sure to get your boat rigged, just like mine, at Bass Fish Electronics this upcoming spring.